Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and today we're going to do a Scentsy haul. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Scentsy, what Scentsy is, is they are essentially a wax melter company. So what we sell is we sell warmers, wax, and obviously we branched into a lot of other things, but at the core, Scentsy are warmers and wax. You take a bar with a warmer that's either a light bulb or a hot plate, pop open your bar, pop a few cubes, I do about two to three depending on the fragrance and the room, and turn it on and it scents your house. Now, what I really love about Scentsy is it's really safe. I feel really comfortable having Scentsy around in my home all the time to give me scent. The wax melts to a lower temperature so it's safer around pets and kids, but I still love the ambience on a candle. So for me, my Scentsy enhances my candles. So for example, in the morning, if I know I'm not going to be uh, home all day, I'll have my Scentsy on to give me that scent. Or for example, like I'm burning a candle now and I will pair a Scentsy scent that I think goes well with a candle. So full transparency, I am a Scentsy consultant. Scentsy is a multi-level marketing company and I know there's a huge stigma around multi-level marketing companies, but Scentsy for me is really just a side business. I enjoy the product and I like sharing it with you guys, my friends and family, and I figured if I enjoy it so much, why not share it? So I decided to film videos for you guys on what I love personally. There will be a link to my website to purchase and you have until December 15th for guaranteed Christmas delivery in the United States. So if you order by Tuesday, you're guaranteed to have your order by Christmas, which is really exciting. And if you are maybe not seeing a lot of people until after, obviously you have more time. There will be a link to my website below, as well as my VIP page. And that is for my customers to interact with each other, share photos, talk about recommendations. I do a lot of fun things in there, share lots of info, tips, tricks, as well as some giveaways. So without further ado, this is just strictly a bar haul. I have tons of fragrances to share, some old returning scents, as well as some new scents. So without further ado, I have my catalog, I have my iPad for scent descriptions, let's get into it. The first thing that I did pick up are bricks. Now, what is different about a brick than a bar? This is a brick, and this is a bar. These are what we sell all day, every day. Plenty of bars are $6. You get eight little cubes, and they are 3.2 ounces. A brick is 17 ounces, has 12 cubes that are ginormous, bigger than my head, and they're $24. The only way to get a brick are special offers. We'll offer limited time only scents, and then we also will do our top favorites in a Scentsy Club, which is a monthly, bi-monthly, or tri-monthly subscription service where you can get your favorite Scentsy delivered to your door and every month. And there's 12 of our best-selling scents available in these giant bricks. But always around the holiday, Scentsy will bring out five limited edition bricks, and I decided to pick up two of them. The first one that I picked up is Salted Caramel Toffee. Now, again, because these bars, these cubes are so big, I only cut these in about half to disperse them throughout the warmers. But look at this. Look at that massive amount of wax. Now, Salted Caramel Toffee says, the sweet scent of salted caramel takes melted toffee and butterscotch to new levels of indulgence. Yes, 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 you really smell that gooey caramel, that rich, sweet, sweet toffee with that really strong saltiness. I feel like I need to take a drink of water. It's so salty. This will be perfect to melt. And I can already tell in here is super strong. So I can already know that when I melt it, it's going to be strong. And that's another thing with Scentsy that a lot of people don't realize is they're so strong because they're, they're not a candle. There's not this like Oh, is it going to be strong? Is it not going to be strong? Like, typically, what you smell is what you get with Scentsy. You're melting them. So, at the end of the day, they are pretty strong. I love 
most sensey sense. And I, it's what I love about the company is they offer such a wide variety of scents that everybody has something that they really like. So that is Salted Caramel Toffee. The next I picked up is Marshmallow Mint Cocoa, and look at this awesome green color. Now, I will say these are $24 each, but I did pick up two, and there is a bundle option on my website. You can get two of these big bricks for $40 instead of $48, so you save even more money. They're already a value on their own, because these are equivalent to five and a half bars. It's a good deal. Now, Marshmallow Mint Cocoa. Co's up. Cozy up with a mug of hot chocolate as airy marshmallow and peppermint float above a rich layer of creamy cocoa. Yes, yes, yes. Onyx, stop it. This smells just like mint chocolate. Like, you get that burst of peppermint and you get that rich hot cocoa without it being just straight up chocolate. Like the powdery Swiss Miss chocolates. It's so yummy. Oh, I cannot wait to melt this all over my house. I think it's going to really make me hungry, though. But that's okay. I really love it. And I love that there's little mini hot chocolates on the label. It's super cute. So, now let's get into the bars. Now, how I typically like to do my bar shopping is if I really like a scent, I purchase three bars of it. Now, that's obviously a personal preference. You can really just purchase one, two... 10, anything you like, but if I really like a scent, I purchase three of them. Now, as I said before, one bar is $6, and we have bundle and saves on the site where you can get three for 17, or the best value is six for 30. When you do six for 30, it's like you're buy five, get the sixth free. So anytime I order bars, I always pick up a six pack. So for this, I did a bunch of six packs. I think I have like five six packs in here. But anyway, the first one I picked up is three perfect peppermint. And I have so many candles that have peppermint in them. This is like a classic. And it smells exactly like that. Crisp, fresh peppermint. Let's see what Scentsy says. Pulling up the scent descriptions. And these are in the catalog. So this says, cooler than most, pure peppermint is the popular kid you'll love to love. And it is. It's just a pure icy peppermint. This is also great if you have a headache, if you have like just a lot of stress in your life and you just want some zen. This is good in any bedroom. It's good in the living room because it's crisp and uplifting. It's good in the bathroom because it's really purifying. I love peppermint. And perfect peppermint is perfect. The next three I picked up were Evergreen and Grapefruit. Now, Evergreen and Grapefruit has been super popular this year. So many of my customers get one and they're like, oh my god, this is so good. And I decided to melt my one bar that I had and I was like, wow, this really is good and I need a ton. Fresh fir needles and white cedar sparkle with radiant notes of grapefruit. Now, it's different because you're typically used to bright, like, fir needle being, like, that really, really, like, harsh pine. But with the brightness of the grapefruit, it really tones down on those earthy green tree notes, which, as you know, are not my favorite type of scents. So I like that this grapefruit is more in the forefront. So... To get a fruity tree scent just isn't really typical in a lot of places. That's why I think Evergreen and Grapefruit is so popular. And I'm glad to have three in my life. Speaking of tree scents, I also picked up three of my beloved Very Snowy Spruce. I just need to smell it. Again, we don't have a typical Christmas tree. Very Snowy Spruce is under the best sellers. It says, breathe in fresh forest air, balsam spruce and cedar branches, embrace the warmth of amber and woody pine cones. So again, we have woody pine cones and we have spruce. Spruce tends to be a little bit more sugary, a little bit more sweet, and for me, that is why I like this tree fragrance, because it's not just typical tree. We do have that sweet, sweet, sugary spruce scent with the really warm pine cone. 
It's a classic. I have this in a diffuser in my bathroom going all the time. It's really fresh. I found that a lot of people do like the scent of pine in a bathroom because it does offer that cleanness, but it's just a little twist on typical clean. So we have very snowy spruce. Sticking with my three pack game, I have a three pack of Cozy Cardigan. Now, Cozy Cardigan is my Taylor Swift scent. If you love Taylor Swift like I do, listen to her folklore album on repeat. This is Cozy Cardigan. Now, I was not a huge fan of Cozy Cardigan at first. I was like, it's okay. And then I melted it. And it was amazing. Cozy Cardigan is fine bedded bliss in layers of soft suede, blushing rose, and amber silk. And I assume because of the name, it always gets retired every year. But to me, this is just a very nice, sensual, floral. But it has that sophisticated, upscale bedroom scent. So we have like a velvet rose. We have suede. We have, what kind of amber did it say? Bel uh, amber silk. So again, we have those very textile, I almost want to say, type of scents. Oh, it's so, so good. I love this. I also love rose scents in general, but it's not like, boom, hit you over the head, super floral rose. You do get that even balance of all of the scents and it's perfect. I'm so glad I have this. And if this was available in laundry, I couldn't imagine having your whole laundry smell like this because we do offer some really amazing laundry products that really stay with your clothes scent-wise. And a cozy cardigan would be amazing in it, but I'll stick with it in wax. It's del delightful, not delicious, delightful. The last set of three bars I picked up are actually the uh, January, no, December, scent of the month. So every single month, Scentsy comes out with an exclusive warmer and scent of the month. So for example, this adorable little country barn was actually November's scent of the month, or warmer of the month. So there's a scent, which was jeweled pomegranate, and there was the warmer, which was country Christmas. They're available for a limited time only, and you can only pick, pick them in that month. So, Arctic Kiss is the scent of the month for December, and the notes are cool Arctic mint and fresh air embrace the warmth of fluffy white clouds, or vanilla clouds. This is a really crisp, fresh scent. It is definitely sweet from the vanilla. Arctic mint, so it has a little sweetness, very light mint. I would say if you're not a huge mint fan or a vanilla fan, you would still like this because it's not like hit you over the head, either of those. And then you just have really fresh, crisp air. Oh, this is nice. I feel like you could really market this in a lot of different ways. It wouldn't just be a Christmas scent. It's very, I don't want to say powdery because that turns a lot of people off and it's not powdery, but it would be good in a powder room. It would definitely be good in a powder room, a bathroom, a bedroom. Yeah. Mmm. That's pretty. Oh, I love this. I think I need to add this to my club. So, speaking of Scentsy Club, what's really awesome, and sorry if I keep itching, I am like attempting to grow out my beard and it's not working. So, it's getting shaved tomorrow morning because I just don't like it. But anyway. What's really cool about Scentsy Club is it's a monthly subscription service for any of our consumables. So light bulbs, warmer or waxes, um, laundry detergent, shower gels, anything that is a consumable product that you would purchase more and more of, you can add to your club. You can have your club come every one month, every two months, or every three months, depending on how often you want your product. Now, what I love about Scentsy Club is if you spend $30 in your club, your whole order is 10% off. If you spend 60, it's also 10% off and you get to choose one item at half off. So what I do every month is I have all of my bars, I hit over $60, I'm like 170 or something like that a month, but I love my bars. And I get a bar, a brick, that's $24, half off for 12 and every month I go in and I delete the bar brick 
and I add a new scent. So I'm constantly getting a new scent in the bricks every month. And that's what's cool. You can click, change, anything with your bars. But, say you get a bar of Arctic Kiss. You fall in love with it. It's limited edition. Add it to your club. And Scentsy will always make it for you. That is something that sets Scentsy apart from any other candle home fragrance company in the world. That if this candle is discontinued, that's it. You're done. You're heartbroken. You stock up. With Scentsy, a wink and a smile, or Arctic Kiss, that's so pretty, I'm going to add it to my club. And you know what? I really like it. I'm going to get one bar every month. Say, mm, it's okay. I like it. I'd like to have it. I'm going to do a bi-monthly and get one bar every one month, every two months. This is my favorite scent. It's to die for. I want five a month. You can do it however you want, and Scentsy will always make it for you, even if it's five years. Scentsy will still make it for you. Now, speaking of Scentsy will still make it for you, twice a year, Scentsy does something really, really cool called Bring Back My Bar, where they give us a list of 500 fragrances a few months before Bring Back My Bar time, which is typically in December and I want to say June or July. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that, June or July. But anyway, you can vote. Anybody can vote. It's typically open for a week. Vote, vote as many times as you want all throughout the day, throughout the week for your favorite bars that have been discontinued. And then the top 20 fragrances come back for one month only. And December is that time. So they brought back 20 bars only available for this month. But they're back. Some of these have been gone for years. Some of them, it was just last catalog. But if you fell in love with any of these old scents years ago, they've been discontinued before Scentsy Club was a thing, you never had any. You bought it in your club this month. They'll always make it for you. Even though it's a bring back my bar, they will always make it for you. And that again is why I love Scentsy. If you fall in love with a fragrance, you never have to worry about never getting in again. Now, there were 20, and there was available to buy a whole pack of 20 at a discounted rate. I believe it's $105. It's still available. But for me, there was a scent that I bought 12 of. You probably already know. If you can tell by the color of my hair, you'll know what scent it is. But I, I'm saying but. But, but I know I'm saying it a lot. I didn't really want to buy the whole set. There was a few that I definitely knew I wasn't going to like this month. So I did buy a ton of the one cent. Four cents I got two of each because I know I love them. And then I did a six pack of cents. So I am going to go through them with you. I'll start with the individuals and then I'll work up to the one that I bought a ton of. The first one I have is a wink and a smile. I've never tried this before, but the description sounded really good. The flirty, girly, fresh scent of tulips and daffodils in full bloom rounded out with plummy lemonade. This is so pretty, you guys. I added it to my club. I haven't even melted it yet, but I added it to my club. What I really love about how Scentsy does their florals, there are some straight up florals, but they have a lot of fruitiness to them. So we have tulips and daffodils, which are very spring-like scents. They're very creamy. They're very, like, I don't want to say decadent floral, but they're pretty much florals that a lot of people can handle. They're very accepting florals with plummy lemonade. So very bright and citrusy with the warmth of plum. Together, this is a beautiful fresh scent, and I never want to be without it. I can't believe this was discontinued. It's so yummy. It's so good. And the color is just so bright and happy. Imagine having that in like my In the Clouds warmer that's like completely white. Every color that you put in it really shines through. This is a wink and a smile. And I'm so glad I added it to my club. Next we have, um, I should have put these in scent description order, Cashmere Pear. Now Cashmere Pear, I wasn't really sure, but I was super intrigued because I love like cashmere, silk, sweater, any notes that are like clothes because I think that the conceptual type of scents are always fascinating to me and I love to see how every company does 
that item differently. And since he did cashmere, pretty cool. This is Slip into Sensual White Amber, Madagascar Vanilla, Silky Pear, and Warm Red Ginger. A blend as smooth and luxurious as fine spun cashmere. Now, it does come across perfumey. It comes off as like a woman's perfume that you would wear in the fall. And I say in the fall because it's pear. And pear typically is a more fall fruit. Pears, pumpkins, apples. And the pear is like, you know I give crazy descriptions and visuals, but like a Harry and David pear in a perfume. I know that sounds crazy. Those gold foiled Harry and David pears that you could scoop out with a spoon and the spoon literally has like this much juice because those are so juicy, those pears. That's what this smells like. Like those beautiful juicy pears with a beautiful, warm, like sheeper woman's fragrance. Hmm. It's so pretty, guys. Now, I'm just actually going to go alphabetical. I'm not going to go, whoops, least purchased to most purchased because the way I have the screenshots of the scents on my iPad down here, didn't work. I picked up two Cutie Pie Cupcakes. Now, I remember this scent from years ago, but I don't ever remember what it smelled like. The notes are sweet clementine and yellow cake batter with vanilla and sugary icing. It smells like an orange cake. It smells just like an orange cake. Like, do you know those poke cakes where you get like a basic white sponge cake or even like just a plain white cake that doesn't even have any flavor and you poke holes in it and then you pour like a juice mixture. Like the most famous poke cake is Tres Leche cake where it's three different milks. It's a Mexican dessert. But Cutie Pie Cupcake is like the orange poke cake. So like orange juice, sweetened condensed milk, and then topped with a very buttery, homemade buttercream vanilla icing. That's what that smells like. It's so pretty. And I like this because it definitely is a bakery type scent. You have like orange cupcake, but it's so pretty with the orange being so dominant in it that it can lend to, I feel like a non-bakery lover would still really like it. I really like it. Next, I picked one of these up, and this is Lavender and White Balsam. I actually didn't mean to pick this one up. Uh, I wanted to pick up Plum and White Woods, and I was just adding so many to my cart. I clicked this one instead. Lavender freshened by wintry white balsam and crisp amber. It's very balsamy. It's very balsamy. And there's like a hint of lavender, but it's definitely detectable. It's not my favorite. It's pretty. I mean, I have one. This, I definitely feel like it's, it lends towards a bathroom type of fragrance. I'll put this in my bathroom. I'll probably enjoy it, but I'm not like, let me run out and get it. It's more, it's here. But if you really were happy it's back, you pick it up, add it to your club. I picked up two of My Dear Watson. Now, My Dear Watson, again, an old scent. I remember I really liked it. This is refreshing bergamot contrasted with mint, cedar, and suede. Sophisticated and smart. And the thing with My Dear Watson, it's a really pretty, like, seawater blue color. And I hate to put this in that box, but it's a cologne type of scent. Bergamot always... Uh, comes across as a cologne scent. But what I think is interesting, and this is another reason why I love Scentsy. I should do a top 10 on why I love Scentsy. You don't have to commit to a whole candle. Say, some nights I might want to have a really masculine scent over, or entertaining somebody, you never know, who, you're not going to light a cotton candy candle or a ginger snap candle, you might want to have your house smell a little bit more masculine, a little bit more fresh. And it's nice to have a bar just to have. 
bergamot, mint, cedar, suede. Yeah, very, very masculine. Sort of gives me like some shaving cream vibe, like an aftershave type of situation. Like you walk into an artist shaving store, I feel like something there would smell like this. I bought two because I like to have scents like this on hand. I didn't add it to my club or anything. This might be a scent I would add to my club that I get every three months. It might be because it is that type of fragrance where it's nice to have. Not a ton of though. But it's pretty. My dear. Almost done. The next one I have is Peppermint Dreams, and I was really excited to smell this. This is the only one a year I never smelled before that I purchased more of because I knew I would love it. It is a warm rush of chocolate cupcake cooled by a blast of fresh mint. Yep. Andy's Mint. Peppermint Patties. Every copyrighted name you can think of. It's chocolate and peppermint. Like... It feels like the end of a day at a re an end of an amazing dinner at a restaurant where on your check plate they'll give you like two Andy's mints and I always take them from the other person because whoever I'm with it seems like always doesn't like them. They just don't like chocolate mint. Whatever, more for me, right? This is awesome. Chocolate peppermint. Yum, and I, it's interesting that it's white. A lot of the peppermint scent scents he does are white. I was expecting this to be like a really cool green, but it's not. This scent. This scent, you guys. People either love this scent or absolutely hate this scent. Pumpkin Marshmallow. Sticky sweet marshmallow spooned onto fresh baked pumpkin and wrapped in a graham cracker crust. Now, when I lean in like this, I'm just like switching the next screen on my iPad. Okay. I love this. And I added it to my club. Here's why people don't like this. This is a real pumpkin. Real scooped fleshy pumpkin. I've never smelled a scent that smells like this. When you think of pumpkin, you think of pumpkin candles, you think of anything pumpkin, you automatically think spicy, nutmeg, cinnamon. It smells like a latte. That's what it smells like. Not Scentsy's Pumpkin Marshmallow. There's no spice. It's graham crackers, marshmallows, and pumpkins. And it's fleshy pumpkin. And like... I don't know how else to describe it other than it literally smells like the really, I don't, it's not rotting. I don't know what, like, the real stringy, like, when you scoop your hand into a pumpkin and you're doing jack-o'-lanterns. It's exactly that. Like, but baked, so it smells warm and the scent is super strong. I love it, though, and a lot of people don't like this scent. I know Lisa Roberry and I really do love it, but... A lot of people don't. They're just super scared of it and whatever, more for us, right? If you if you want to embrace your like creativity side or, you know, you want to try something new, add one bar. I mean, it doesn't hurt to add a bar. $6 is or if you do the bundle and say $5, just try it out and see what you think. I really do love it. I would order more, but it's also not pumpkin season. I'm not melting it anytime soon. So I ordered two to have, and I added one bar to my club. So every month I'll get a bar of it, and that way when it comes fall, I'll have a ton of them. Quiet Grove. Quiet Grove, I feel like, isn't getting a ton of love this year. It's a soft spell of bergamot, jasmine, and sandalwood. Again, very, like, mix of... Uh, I almost want to call it, like, base scents. Very like jasmine, bergamot, sandalwood. Those are scents that are added to a lot of fragrances just as like mixers. So this is like a full mixer fragrance. But it's really pretty. It's very watery. It's very jasmine heavy. It's very jasmine. That white floral. You know those white fresh florals? That's exactly it. Just a white floral. So I'm happy I have one. I think it'll be a good bathroom. Set. Vanilla Suede. 
Now, vanilla suede is classic vanilla with rich amber and hints of sandalwood and spice, a subtly masculine fragrance. This smells like it would be a Tom Ford scent. You remember in my video when I talked about all the scentsy leather scents and how I loved each one for a different reason? This is going to be around the same category as the sheer leather. It's a very um, more creamy suede scent. I feel like this, a lot of men love this, but I think a lot of women would too. It reminds me of like the same fragrance family as Cozy or Cozy Cardigan because it has that like creamy, a little bit floral. Oh, it's nice. It's really nice. If I came over to a man's house and this was melting, I would be like, wow, he has a really good taste in fragrance. Like this isn't like a typical, he goes and buys the most manly name scent or even just like a basic cinnamon apple scent that he's melting in his house. I, I approve, I really like it. And Vanilla Oud. I was really happy to see that Vanilla Oud was a, was a scent since he had. I never knew it was a scent that Sensi ever had in its wheelhouse because Oud Wood, I feel like, is a fairly new, it's not a new scent by any means, but it's new to the world of fragrance that a lot of people are like obsessed with. Sweet vanilla grounded by leather and earthy Oud Wood. And Oud is a really smoky wood. It's a very creamy, crisp wood. Same in the vein of like Gayak wood or birch wood or anything like that with the really bright woods. Like a bright white wood. It's so good. If you like woody scents, you'd like this. And the vanilla is more of a perfumey vanilla than a bakery vanilla. It's good. I know a couple people who ordered this because they were really excited to see it back and I never knew it was a thing so I was glad that it was back too. The moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> the scent I was so excited to buy. Sweet plum pastry. I told you, it's my hair. It's not exactly my hair, but it's purple. When I first purchased Scentsy from Lisa Roberry a few months ago, it feels longer than that, but it really wasn't that long ago, this was her scent. I binge watched all of her YouTube videos and she was like, Drew, this is the best scent. It hasn't come out in forever. Like, it's so good. Hopefully it comes back and it'll bring back my bar. But I'm going to send you a bar. I never melted it. I literally got the box a few months ago, opened that bar, and I could not get enough of it. And I said, I will never melt this until it comes back. Apparently I didn't have to wait that long. I added three bars to my club. I'm getting three bars of this every month. I ordered 12 that are now all on my floor of sweet plum pastry. Black plum and toasted coconut garnished with a marshmallow cloud. I'm not even a huge coconut fan, but this toasted coconut blended with the plums and a marshmallow cloud I feel like I'm on cloud smelling it. It is so good. If you like bakery, if you like coconut, if you like fruity, if you like me and my channel, you'll order this and you'll trust me. I don't even know what candle to pair with this. I just literally, as soon as this came back in stock, or as soon as like it came time to order November 23rd, boop, boop, boop popped it all in my warmers around my apartment and ordered 12 right away, added three to my club. Nothing else to say, but this is the best scent ever created. And I'm so happy that I have 12. My camera battery's about to die. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. Again, my link to my Sensi page as well as my VIP group are down below. I'd love to see you guys there. You feel free to message me on any of my social media platforms for any Sensi questions or any questions in general. I'll talk to you guys later. Stay safe. Bye.